having doubts while studying don't worry hey there this is vaishnu and welcome back to our youtube channel study to learn in the previous session we discussed about what is grid layout how to use grid layout and mcqs on grid layout and today we are going to learn about grid back layout so let's start grid back layout aligns components vertically horizontally or along their base lines it maintains a dynamic rectangular grid of cells In this layout each component occupies one or more than one cells and this is also known as display area In grid back layout each component associates an instance of grid back constraint with the help of constraints object we can arrange component display area on the grid So now initially we have to create object of grid back layout and then set layout with the help of set layout method just by passing created object of grid back layout into set layout method this is how grid back layout used here we create object of grid back layout as jbl and after that i just passed object of grid back layout into set layout method here user can set constraint to the particular component using set constraint method and this method used like this here this method has two parameter first is component object and second is grid back constraints value now let's see constraints of grid back layout here first constraint is a grid x don't confuse here g and x both are small in letter and this method used to define x coordinate of cell default value of this method is grid back constraints dot relative guys here g and b and c are capital and this is constraint not constraint yeah don't forget this s and the uh, whole relative is capital in letter second is grid y this is used to specify y coordinate of cell and default value of this constraint is same as grid x third is grid height and uh, as the name of this constraint this specifies the height of cell and default value of this method is 1 and last is grid width and this is used to specify width of cell and its default value is 1 now after all this let's see how to set layout of container at grid back layout with the help of program so let's enter this is input line in which awt package is imported for frame and other awt controls gbl is a class name which extends frame class this is a class constructor in which we created a object of grid back layout which is gb at this line gb is passed in parameter of set layout method to set a layout of frame as grid back layout after that these are set size and set visible methods of frame used to set size of frame and to make a frame visible right after that here i created object gc of grid back constant don't forget to use this s and proper capital letters these are five buttons which are named as button 1 button 2 and so on after all these here we will use constants of grid back layout look at this line gc dot grid x equals to 0 here i assign 0 to grid x means here x coordinate of is 0 after that in this line i assign 0 to y also and at the end here i add button 1 and give constraints object gc to button 1 means this button will create at 0 and 0 means x and y coordinate respectively here i get one value to grid x and zero value to grid y and set add button 2 and apply this constraint so this button will create at 1 and 0 coordinate and like this button 3 at 0 and 1 button 4 at 1 and 1 button 5 at 0 and 2 here i have used fill constraint to fill horizontally and set value of width and height as 2 and 1 and lastly at button 5 add buttons constraint this is the main method of class now we will run this program and check for the output i wrote this code in dr java you can use any java it as your convenience so let's compile the program and uh, without any error our compilation is completed which is showing in compiler output tab 
now we will run this code and uh, you can see on the screen output is here now after all knowing all about grid pack layout let's see some mcqs on today's topic so let's see which method is used in following output so answer is grid pack layout next question is which aligns the components vertically horizontally or along their base lines so answer is grid pack layout manager next question is in grid pack layout each component occupies one or more cells known as its so answer is display area next question is which layout is used in following output so as we know answer of this question is grid pack layout